Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile Betrayal League. Today we're going to be doing Doresso's Dream, but before we do that, there's a special event going on right now. Since it's the holiday time, the Fairgrave Mystery Box is available, and as a gift for all the players, Path of Exile developer GGG has given everybody one box for free. So I'm going to open that for you guys and see what we get. We get our Fairgrave's Mystery Box here. I've never opened one of these before, so... There we go, we got a Corsair Staff, so we can change the appearance of any staff, two-headed axe, sword, mace, to a Corsair Staff. That's pretty awesome. We can also get another one of those, because we do have 30 points, but I usually save those for stuff to do with uh, stash tabs and whatnot. So I'm just trying to find the button for the latency thing here. Alright, sorry about that. Turns out it was F1, so <laughs> we have to turn those off so they're not in the way anymore. Let's jump into Dressa's Dream, and yeah, if we ever make a character with two-handed weapons, we can transform it into uh, the Corsair Staff, so that's pretty cool. We'll see if we uh, decide to pick up more of those. I don't know, I usually like to just uh, see what kind of stuff I can get from the game without spending uh, too much money on it, but... They come up with something super duper cool or I have a character that would really benefit obviously I don't mind supporting the game because it's a lot of fun and it's free so nothing to complain about when it comes to this game oh yeah we have to fight like little gladiator battles here in order to get through this stream it's quite easy um, as far as I know unless you get some dudes with some crazy modifiers like I don't know if they actually will increase the difficulty of a lot of this stuff you know like is there a since there's no more difficulties and everything's just straight through. I figured we would run into some uh, beasts for Einhar here. That's pretty awesome. Um, nice, a new, new beast and a silver coin. So I don't know if there will be a more difficult version of this area. I imagine it must just be like some kind of randomized endgame thing. That's all I can think of that would make sense. But I suppose we'll just see when we get there. So I hope you guys are having some good holidays. And I certainly am. It's been a great time. And nothing like playing some Path of Exile. <laughs> Always a great time. So let's push on. We got some uh, Beast and the Immortal Syndicate up here. Quicksilver Flask here. Oh, let's actually back up a little bit. Seems kind of dangerous. Faster projectiles. That's pretty good. Leather Hood there. And happy to see that. Let's see if we get an upgrade. So it's one of these um, transportation ones. Yeah, which means it has Haku, so let's just dunk him with all that nasty poison damage right there. And he was the only one. There is a red beast here. Create a unique sword. Right on. Got another one of those cool recipes. Alright, Haku, what do you want? Move him to intervention? Hmm. Oh wait, that's intervention. Yeah, it's... move him over there. There we go. Whatever you think's best there, buddy. Gold mask, glass floors, bobble. Awesome. Actually, ID these masks really quick here. Uh, that's all right, but not super amazing. And yeah, if it had more sockets like this one, maybe. But I kind of like having the sockets available in case we run into some cool gems I'll be using later. Definitely going to be redoing my setup once we get some better stuff. But I think we're still too early. We just got really lucky with the the Tabula Rasa for our early game, making it pretty easy to level up and push through the story. Definitely just a bit of a glass cannon, still don't have a lot of defenses, so I die to quite a bit of things. But we're pushing on nicely. We're still in stuff that I've seen before, so nothing's surprising me yet. Or not too much anyway, except for the Immortal Syndicate stuff and obviously the new things like Delve and whatnot. Alright, well, I clearly missed a turn here. Is it up this way? Here's the keyboard here. Yeah, it might have been up and to the right. Let's check, uh... Wait, what could be? Oh, nothing right there. Okay, let's check down here first, just in case. Never know if there'll be some sweet loot or some cool enemies. And since there's beasts in this area, I don't know if there can be two red beasts, but it seems like those ones always give you some kind of unique item recipe, which is awesome. I imagine there's some kind of farming technique for those or something like that to get a whole bunch of the same one or something. Maybe certain areas spawn certain kinds. Alright, we got uh, some just random champions here and a bunch of random uh, bad guys to take care of. Got portal scroll, some boots there, let's take those. Nothing else to it, too interesting. Alright, we got a doorway here. Let's go to the next stage of the arena, I think. 
Can we just go through? No. I guess we have to kill each and every enemy. Alright, looks like that's the that's the case. We have to kill everything. Alright, now we're in the Grand Arena. So this is a little bit more of a winding cave. Thankfully there's a waypoint here. But this area is like very easy to run through. Because you just run, 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 run. All the enemies take a second to spawn. And then you get into these arenas and you just wipe guys out. There's usually some kind of champion pack somewhere. Not usually a strong box. Um, but the, the enemies here, I think you can either just leave into the next one. Or you have to, yeah, you have to defeat the, like, host of this arena or whatever, I think. Or maybe kill all the enemies. I don't think that's the case, but that might be it. Oh yeah, this might be it. Maybe it's these champion guys. Once they're down, now it's open. Oh, maybe you just have to walk up to it. I think I'm just derping. Yeah, see how everything takes a second to step off its statue? As long as you can zoom through, it makes it really easy. Alright, let's see if we can just find the exit and see if we can just leave without killing everything. Looks like it's up here. Kill any uh, champions we see, though. Yep, just leave. So you can just run straight through. I don't think there's too much reason in spending a lot of time in these areas right now, considering we're trying to get to the stuff I haven't done yet. Got some uh, big big dudes here, though, so take these guys out. Cause they might give either good XP or some items, but looks like they had nothing today. You might be required to defeat them, too. I'm not sure. And this is where uh, Duressa will tell you um, a lot about himself if you just listen to him as he goes through all those or as you go through all those little areas with all the statues they'll tell you about his history a little bit good place to learn about him if you're interested get to hear his side of his story he's actually re related to Mervale a little bit he's got some dangerous moves I don't really know what the whole like reason he just becomes immune to damage a little bit sometimes but he seems to just kinda shield up and regenerate somewhat I don't know if it's like a, uh, so many times of immunity or something like that. There we go. Alright, so we can boogie on out of here. And we can actually just take a waypoint back. But we'll clear out the inventory first. Talk to Kira. And just sell all this stuff. I'm not interested. I'm going to keep that Quicksilver. We might roll that into something. Just stash it for now, though. Let's go to stuff here. Boop. There we are. And got a whole bunch of currency to deposit. I don't know how I just keep getting all this currency now. Just keep rolling in it. It's great. Alright, to the crystal veins. And bam, we can talk to Lady Diala here. And she will activate this crazy, like, flesh cannon. It's crazy looking. That's the only way to describe it. She uses up, like, most of her power, I guess. And, and uh, doing that, too. And now we're inside of... Uh, the belly of the beast is what it's called, but it, yeah, it. That's what she said. Uh, the ranger said it's. This must be what being an inside of a nightmare is like, or something. It's horrible. I guess that was a strong box. I just thought it was a regular uh, chest. That's why a whole bunch of dudes popped up. That's kind of scared there for a second. Oh, we got some. Got some shrine dudes here. Let's take the shrine from them so they can't mess with me. What's this giving me? Oh, it's a massive shrine. Okay, so it's just giving me a lot of bonuses. Got some immortal syndicate up there, it looks like. So let's find a way up to them. Couldn't go through that little window back there. It's kind of weird. Wonder we might have gone the wrong way as far as getting to them goes. Well, let's keep zooming though. No point in not exploring it. Because we might find the exit and that would be handy too. Alright, could open those cocoons, but... Really, like I said, not too interested in spending too much time in this act. Especially because these areas are a little bit crazy. I kind of want to run back now, though, because uh, I feel like I'm getting pretty far away from the Immortal Syndicate. And I definitely want to do that. Ooh, we almost died there. That's close. Yeah, let's actually just zoom back really quickly here. Got a level up, though. Level 45 already, damn. It feels like I'm still, like, uh, level 20 or something. Like, I don't feel like I've leveled that much, but... I guess so. I wonder if I could blink arrow over there, actually. Aha! Well, that saves a lot of time. 
Alright, so let's just attack the back wall, I guess. Because it was just too scary to attack the front wall. Alright, I'm actually going to see if I can um, warp on the inside here. No? Alright, well, let's attack the other door too. Get that mana back. And then we can zoom in and attack these healing totems. Alright, feeling good now. Lay down some arrows there to stop those dudes from coming in the door. Get this Tora. Does she have anybody else here, or is it just her? I guess it was just her. Alright, so what do you want, Tora? Fortification intelligence plus 12, sure. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Alright, what do you give me, too? Ooh, an amulet with cast speed. That's something I'm going to use, but... Let's, uh, oh, we got another one? Oh, there was another one. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize. I thought there was just one. Don't snuff my candle just yet. Yeah, I got more I'm fortification gonna... intelligence. Sure. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, we did take both those safe houses out. That's why we got, um, the, the Coral and Chimeria in charge of it. We need to get these two. I wonder what happens if you unlock the safe house again. Does it just change who who's there, I suppose, would be what it would do? It's the only thing that makes sense to me, really. I like that I can go through the energy shield with the chaos damage. Okay, now we can see where we were with uh, spending our points here. It looks like I had gotten all the fatal toxins. Yeah, I don't really know if I had decided where I was going to go from here. There's definitely a lot of options, so we're just going to think about it for now. I'm not really going to dwell on it. Oh, I guess that was the only way to get through here. Like, this is just totally blocked off otherwise. If I didn't have a way to teleport over that, I don't think I could have gotten anywhere. And that's that's kind of depressing. So, glad I didn't come back here and spend too long looking for it and just went and tried. I suppose if I went the other way, I would have just discovered it's a dead end and been really confused anyways. But I wonder if that's like an accident or... Or supposed to happen. I feel like that's an accident as far as the programming goes, but might not be. You never know. Could be like, aha, if you don't have one, then they're protected kind of deal or something like that. And I suppose Leo and Toro could have both had a moving ability to get out of there, so. Or portals. They could also use portals. Alright, let's zoom along, anyways. Still got my golem, still got the Herald of Agony turned on, so we're still feeling pretty good. I love the Mirage Archer. That thing is so handy with the Toxic Rain. It just allows you to drop so much more of them. Cover much larger areas. I wonder if there's like an area of effect support or something that would be good for this, this ability. I'm not quite sure. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of stuff we find to complement the build as we increase in levels and discover more loot. Like I said, we probably won't be doing any trading ever. Like, So I don't think... We'll be doing anything to get some kind of super optimized build, but we'll we'll keep playing the game and we'll see what we find. And if we don't find anything for a long time, we just end up kind of hard stuck. Then maybe we'll see about getting like some basic upgrades or something to make us able to push a little bit further or something. I really don't know. Just have to play it by ear. Is how it goes usually. So let's just keep moving. Keep wiping out some dudes. Portal scroll. I'm really kind of overfilled with scrolls, so I actually, actually am going to stop picking them up. Stop picking them up, sorry, for now. Because <laughs> I keep selling loot and getting them anyways, so. Uh, as we get into the higher racks, I'll probably look into how you're supposed to actually vendor items, because there's actually different vendoring recipes. Like if you, like now they do a three socket, or a three different colored socket item, we'll get a chromatic orb, as long as they're all linked. Uh, so. There's other ones where it's like if you do an armor, entire armor set with like uh, belts and chest piece and helm and all this other stuff, you can get certain kind of rewards for doing that. So I may look into how to do that and utilize the stash tabs and see what we can do. I've never really done that stuff before, so it'd be new for me. Got Vag in here and Gravisius. We're just going to keep dunking them with the Toxic Rain. Wow, they just got completely wrecked over there. That was awesome. <laughs> Mana leech support. And a whole bunch of just nobodies back here. Alright. So we got uh, one rank and a no ranks. Let's talk to him. No 
Yeah, let's just execute him, get him ranked up one, make him a little bit stronger. Yep. Ooh, drop an additional. Yeah, let's, let's bargain with you, Vagan. Ooh, dexterity, strength, lots of resistance, right on. And increased regeneration, additional attacks, life, not bad. And a chromatic orb boots. So let's talk to you, and I think I have... Oh, I think I forgot to unveil something last time. I may have had an item that I should have unveiled. So let's see, we can get the health and mana, I think is what we'll take. There's increased area effect and increased uh, area damage, though. That might be good for us. I feel like that's really good. Let's actually take that. I don't know if that applies to all of us. Or, I mean, like, all of my things. Like, would that affect something that's not socketed into it? Like, would it have to be on the tabula rasa? But it is a crafting recipe, so I could put it on something else. Max mana and mana reduced, or mana cost reduced. Max mana and damage taken gives mana, or max mana and max, or mana regen. Hmm, I feel like this would be my best option. Because I don't really benefit too much from mana regen. So, there we go. Right on. <laughs> Making some progress. Alright, so let's just keep going. I guess we won't find any more syndicate till the next stage, which I think we're supposed to fight bosses or something pretty soon, so we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, some of these enemies that stick their hands in the ground can be pretty deadly, so watch out for them. I think that's what they do. So we got the bowels of the beast, and here's piety. And we're just going to drop a whole lot of toxic rain on top of wherever she exists right now. Oh yeah, she does this thing where you have to actually like run away from that because it's very deadly. And now Piety goes back to being kind of normal and offers to basically help us get to uh, the next real bad guy who is Malachi. Get Chaos Damage Rank 1. Heck yeah, that's a great recipe to find. Totally going to be utilizing that on our our bow here to increase the amount of damage we deal. Alright, so this this used to be, I believe, like the old ending to the game, was Malachi was the final boss, so I, f I remember there wasn't an additional act after this one, this was the last one, and then you would repeat these four acts uh, a few times, I think it was three times how many difficulties there were. But here's the black core, and we actually have to go and find Malachi's three guardians who are guarding his organs and then we bring his organs back and it allows us to like manifest him or open the door to fight him or something like that he's actually a, like a two-stage fight and he's he can be pretty tough if you if you're on a higher difficulty or something or you don't got good resistances to be able to survive some of his attacks because his battlefield gets kind of chaotic but we'll just keep zooming along trying to find uh his his body or his uh be Sorry, his minions <laughs> that are holding his organs. We got some immortal syndicate, so let's take them down first. Alright, who we got? Leo and Yun and. Oh, is it three people? Oh, we're gonna move back here then. Alright, so we got Leo. Alright, got nobody else yet. Yun's in there destroying the healing totems. Alright, so there's Isling. And do we have any more? No, I guess that's all of them this time. I thought there was another, but doesn't seem to be the case, unless she got away. Let's see. Oh no, Yun was uh, saying something. I thought Yun was an enemy for some reason. I was just reading names. Okay, let's talk to uh, Isley first. Go on. Plus one rank. You're no stranger to murder. Hmm. Just make it quick. I don't know if I want to rank you up. I just want to imprison you. Yeah. No, not again. <laughs> no, not again. Oh wow, she really doesn't like being in prison. Don't snuff my candle Plus four intervention intelligence. Hmm. Yeah, I would like that information. It seems good. Alright, so I think we have a new item to unveil. Yeah, this ring. Let's unveil it. Dexterity intelligence, resistances. I think I care more about the resistances. Increased area of effect. On of non-damaging elements on enemies. Okay, I don't really care too much about that, so we'll just get the resistances. Uh, oh, whoops, forgot to take the ring back. I always forget to do that. Boop. All right, let's move along. Now that we got that out of the way, 
I always like finding the Immortal Syndicate stuff. It's it's always like something interesting. There's just so much fun to to have in this game now. Like with the Azurite mines and the bestiary things to do, and um, just like the, the game with the maps as as usual. This one's kind of tough. That's Deidre or whatever. Malachi's lungs there. Uh, she can be tough because she basically has three curses in her room and I can't remember what they do so it was hard to know which one to stand in but you can stand in all three of them which is just bad so you try and just pick like two or one that you can deal with and, and stand in those and try and fight her but she can be tough and I don't know what else she does but I just know I've died to her a lot before so just kind of tried to nuke her down there all right we got another one down here it looks like you can usually tell because there's the the door to their place kind of helps you find it Lots of ranged enemies in this zone. Alright, so we got Malagoro. I think this is uh, one of Malachi's like experiments or something like that. And this is the guy you had like Malagoro's spike. He was from like Act 2, I believe, that he was involved in. I like how the doorway to enter goes away once you've cleared them too. So it really just seems like it's something designed to help you find where you're supposed to go. And they kind of like a doorway between him and the outside uh, world, I guess, while he's alive. Which is kind of interesting. I don't really... I don't really think that's a, a usual thing that you would see in games, but it's a really great idea. Because it like makes the inner, er, arena and then it kind of integrates it back in with the world afterwards. Chevron can be deadly with all these books and everything that she puts everywhere. Ugh, tough fights. Alright, let's move along here. We actually got all three of their organs. Probably one of the fastest trips I've ever had doing it. So that's awesome. Alright, so now we can talk to Piety. And we can open the black core. And here we go. This is Malachi Phase 1. So what he's going to do is he's going to uh, possess Piety sometimes. And while Piety is possessed, I won't be able to damage Malachi. So see how she's using her abilities to make him attackable right now. Occasionally, yeah, she's going to be like completely possessed and go back to doing her usual shenanigans. So you have to like kill her. And then she's like, all right, go back to doing that thing that you're good at doing, killing Malachi. Oh, shoot. Now I have no mana and she's uh, in a tough spot there. All right, we thankfully have their our summons to help us out and a little bit of uh, mana regen and now he gets tired of that shenanigan kills her and goes down into what he considers to be a safer location I suppose and she's like dead but also pinned so she can't really do much so she's just there we're actually gonna open a portal that has a safety strat here because uh, that's one thing you can do to deal with this fight a little bit easier make it so you can just portal back in Oh yeah, and he'll uh, teleport to these things and uh, basically heal off of them. So he has almost like three health bars, which is like fantastic for him, right? But he takes advantage of that. So let's keep just nuking him here. He's going to heal up one more time. And we can just make sure that we destroy that heart. Thankfully, the chaos damage seems to wipe that heart out nicely. All right, we actually got a regal orb. That's not a bad, uh, bad thing there. What does that actually do? Upgrades a magic item to a rare item. Cool. Shackled boots and a magic life flask. That's actually ID it while he's... I suppose I should have showed you there, but yeah, Malachi goes kaboom. <laughs> he blows up quite quite extremely. Increased amount and reduced recovery rate. Hmm. Yeah, I think I actually want more health. That just seems good. These boots, not amazing. These boots... Lots of health and uh, good stuff, but no movement speed. Yeah, not too crazy about that stuff. So back to Highgate we go. We have defeated the enemies. We can talk to Tasumi and Ayala for rewards. So the exit to Ascent is now open. Uh, I don't know. Oh, access Ascent from the Easter High. I guess that's the next uh, act, I suppose. So Diala gives us a gem. Spell Echo Support, Multi Strike, Greater Multiple Projectiles. Hmm, that seems pretty good. Don't know if that helps us though. Chain Support, 
Increased area of effect and withering touch. Withered on hit last two seconds. Support skills gain 13% of physical damage is extra chaos damage. Well, that seems like right up our alley, so let's take that one. And Oyen uh, didn't really give us much. <laughs> so let's see here, what do we got? Do I want to try that? What will we take out? Mirage Archer, Vintage Projectiles. That one just gives a lot more damage. We will take out the Poison Support and do this one. So we'll do extra chaos damage and do Withered on hit, which might slow things down. I don't know what Withered does, but we're going to try it out. I can't sell items to either of them, so let's run back down to Kira. And then we could just start up the next act, I suppose. And just keep moving along. So let's sell that, 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 that. Don't really care about that. Let's actually sell it. Get rid of those. That one. I think that's everything. All right, stash, and of course get rid of, oops, I did forget a couple of things. We got clarity, and oh, we have a necklace to unveil. I didn't even realize. All right, well, we'll deal with that next time we run into Yun there. Let's just throw this wherever. I'll have to deal with my inventory at some point soon. It's coming. Um, yeah, I figure I might have enough chances to poison on hit that it might be okay. Let's see, do I have that in my stats here? Uh, offenses, miscellaneous. Uh, I don't really see it here. I'm sure that it's here because I thought I saw it before. Chance to poison if the main hand hits 40%. That seems pretty good. I'm sure we'll get it higher as I pick up more stats that allow me to do that. So, ascent is oh up to the right there. Okay, so let's zoom on up and see what we find. I think this is a snowy place that we're headed to but this is the new stuff so I've been here and I can't remember if I finished this act I might have but I remember liking this act quite a bit so there's lots of goat men here and goat men remind me of Diablo 2 which is in my opinion awesome so we got Gravisius here hanging out waiting to transport some stuff might be with Haku he usually is oh no it looks like he's chilling with Leo right now all right got them down pretty easily this chaos damage stuff is really nice. I don't know if this withering touch is good, but I'm liking it so far. <laughs> Even though I haven't seen it in action. Uh, still got all my buffs, so what do we want to do? Leo and they're the same rank here. Let's talk to Leo first. Destroy items of all transportation members. Heck yes, I want to do that. Boom. Get rid of those items. Alright. And Gravisius, what do you want? Ooh, plus four to that, or we can get three transportation and derank them. No, it's bargain. I want that safe house intelligence. All right, nothing I'm interested in picking up from them, but if Yun is here, let's uh, unveil that amulet that I was talking about. I knew there was another thing. Skills cost no mana while focused. I don't know what focused is. That might be interesting, though. Well, let's take the strength and intelligence, because that's my off stats. Alright, rank 2 on that, sweet. Oop, forgot to take it back again. Alright, so we can actually sell that now, so that's good. Let's keep on zooming here. See if we can find the next stone. I honestly have a lot of uh, inexperience with this zone, so it's probably going to take me a little bit to find exactly where we're trying to go. I'm just going to have to be wandering around for some of these areas, <laughs> so I apologize. Um... Yeah, I, I really like this zone though. I like the snow. I like the changes. I like the amount of enemies. I like the. It's just it's definitely different than the first few acts. It's uh, more detailed, more open. I feel like, and a lot more. I don't know. I feel like the swarms are a lot more populated. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the final acts are because I still haven't seen those. I haven't even beaten the new game yet. So hoping to do that with this character. And see what other kind of new stuff there is. Alright, we're going to want to ID that strong box before we open it up there. See what we can, see what kind of mods it has. Alright, so it's guarded by three rare monsters, detonates corpses, and contains an extra vol gem. Oh, and I'm in a, yep, that can happen sometimes. Just get completely dunked. Alright, let's zoom back on over there. It's actually a shrine right here, let's go ahead and try to pick that up. 
I suppose I should have blinked Garrett away. My usual strategy when I was playing a long time ago was to touch it and blink arrow immediately in order to escape any kind of shenanigans that might happen. But definitely wasn't on point with that strategy this time. So we got a four socket raven mask there, but I don't really know what I would do with it, so we're just gonna keep going. Let's see, I must have been way up here because this is how far my map is telling me I've been. Alright, here we go. Let's just drop a whole bunch of uh, toxic brains over there, and as they try to move through, most of them should just get handled. I have all blade vortex and arc, summon skeleton and abyssal cry. Nothing with any quality on it, but we'll take the vol gem just in case we ever make a character that would use it. We've got a crafting recipe on the map, it looks like here, so that is nice to see. What's it gonna be? Attributes rank two, nice. Happy to see that. I'm gonna have to learn how this whole crafting thing works, but. I want to find a hideout that I like first. I may have missed some before. I might have to look up where they are. The carrion crow, life and armor, or life armor, whatever that could be. I don't really know what to do with the divination cards just yet. I think I may have done something with them before, but I don't know if they're involved like some kind of crafting recipe or maybe they do things when you try to use them. I'm not quite sure. Oh, that was like a unique one right there. No wonder that guy heard of it. His name was the White Death. Alright, we got a rare strong box too, so let's ID this first. Alright, identified items, two additional magic items, a rogue exile. So that's, that's what I usually do is blink arrow away from the strong box like that. Feels a lot safer. Uh, ooh, lots of items from the rogue exile. Nothing from the strong box that I'm interested in. As far as the loot filter is concerned, which I usually trust it. Let's see, increased rarity, movement, no, no movement speed. Nope, not interested. Oh, oh, that's a chromatic, okay. That's good to have. I was like, why do I have this white item? Oh, it's a uh, chromatic. I, lots of champion packs, like just XP everywhere. It's great. All right, let's head up to the north here and see if this is the exit. It feels like it would be, because it's like a different terrain than the other stuff. Long narrow passage. Man, these guys can like teleport and hit you and it actually kind of hurts. I'm gonna have to up my defenses pretty soon it feels like this act and this and the ooh, coming axe may be a little bit stronger than what I'm used to. Getting kind of hurt by like champion packs and stuff so that might be worth doing. Alright so here we have uh, the resonator. We're supposed to pull the lever and take the portal, I think. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna close that. And we're gonna know. We got two points now. Oops. Yeah, we kinda just appear here in like an explosion. And that guy shows up and gives us like a death sign, like, uh, draws his finger across his throat like he's gonna get us. And it's like, ha ha ha, you wish you could get me. And there's like a bit of a rebellion going up, going on when we show up here. There's these. Like Oriath rebels uh, that are fighting against their uh, guards or something like that. I'm not 100% on the story. This is where my lore knowledge tends to kind of run dry. I do remember reading a little bit in here when I did, I think, one of my first Let's Plays of this place, but I honestly have no idea anymore. I just know there was some kind of rebellion going on, and we're like inadvertently helping the good guys, the other rebels or exiles or prisoners or something like that they're called I don't think we can even see their names might be able to next time we run into one we'll see so these are the, yeah these are the Oriath guys so I think it was like Rayquast survivors or something from like the Karn days or something like that I don't know either way there's some kind of slaves for some reason I believe and that's yeah that's as far as I know <laughs> but anyways this area once again packed full of enemies Tons of fun. I love the, I love the areas when they're packed full of enemies. Uh, even if I get swarmed and die, it's still fun fighting tons of enemies in ARPGs rather than a few enemies, in my opinion. Like uh, like big hordes are definitely the way to go. Like the uh, if you played Diablo 2 and have done the secret cow level, the size of hordes in that level are awesome. It's gigantic hordes of, of secret enemy cows. Ooh, almost died there. That would have been bad. Alright, just nuking the area with the um, 
Toxic Brain, really making it easier to take down these guys. Alright, Tora, and what do you want, Tora? Plus one rank, and she moves to transportation. I'll interrogate you. I don't want to up your rank. We got some boots here. See what happens when we unveil them. All prisoners set free, plus one fortification, plus three transportation. No, I'm going to interrogate you too. I don't really feel like setting all the prisoners free. There we go. Gonna have to give me a better deal than that. Alright, so we got these boots that we want to talk to Yun over. Let's see, increased toad emplacement, lightning and chaos resistance. I think we're gonna take that one. Get the rank 2. Uh, if they had movement speed, they'd be pretty good boots, but that movement speed is what I like, so we're just gonna keep on going. 30 health belt there. Don't really care about a 30 health belt. So, oh, there's some self fight on the map here, looks like. Oh, a Chaos Orb. Nice, that's the second one we've found so far. That is really handy. If uh, we were trading, those would be worth something, but <laughs> we're not really interested in that, so... We'll just continue as we do. Got some self fight, so we could go to the mines, but I don't really want to go back there right now till I'm quite a bit stronger. I feel like it'd be more worth my time then. Considering we're all, like level 46 or 7 now, 46, we may want to go back and do the... Um, the trial thing or whatever pretty soon because I think that unlocks our ascendancy class and we might be wanting to use that in the coming acts here. I don't really know what I would pick at this point though. I don't know if they've changed anything or what so may have to do some research first and do some thinking. Like I said I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing but so far I'm liking what we're doing so uh, with the poison rain or toxic rain. I feel like I just ran a little bit of a circle there but that's pretty okay. We might just be completely lost. Don't have any idea where I'm going. Let's try and use the keyboard here. Oh, it's down into the left, way into the bottom there. So we gotta fix the map a little bit. There we go. Alright, and then we can use my last charge of the Quicksilver Flask and just run into more walls. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I feel like my map is still a bit off, but let's just do like that. There we go, that feels better. I, don't, I think there's like a reset button for it, but I honestly can't remember all the keybinds all the time, like earlier when I was trying to turn the latency and stuff off. More self fight here, that's awesome. Got 76 on hand. I hope that doesn't decay over time, and you just like miss out if you don't use it. That'd be kind of a bummer. Oh, we got more here though. Quite a bit, so that'll be nice when we eventually go back. Boom. Got another 35. Got 111 now, that's nice. That'll be at least like hour or two worth of adventure maybe, depending on how well we do. Again, more of these guys. Yeah, definitely make Toxic Rain just like the main ability has been the most successful idea so far. It's much stronger this way, and uh, I don't have to worry about using a bunch of different abilities. I used to think you wanted to have some for different situations, but that doesn't seem to always be the case. And you can just drop these and kind of walk away, or kite around. Well, Royal Bolt will take that, just in case it's any good. I don't think that's really good for us, but... Oh, we got a ladder coming down. I guess people offering us help. Let's see, ah, it's no good. Toss it. Didn't have any damage on it. And Volley is here. Uh, all the main people. There's some story going on with these guys, but like I said, we're going to skip through that stuff for now. Let's accept that trade and talk to you for our reward. Uh, I don't want resistances. Hmm, let's see. What's going to be the luckiest here? Let's take uh, Cold and Lightning. Yeah, let's do that. That's going to be the lucky one. Alright. And is it lucky? Oops, if I could click on it. Eh, it's kind of lucky. It's not amazing. We're going to sell it. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, it's, nah, I don't need phasing, I don't think yet, so we'll sell that. I might have should have kept that. I don't really know. I feel like we'll be okay without it for now, though. Might see more as time goes on. Another one of those. Get that Vol Gem. And got to sell that amulet, too. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to be the end of the episode here. Just trying to manage my inventory and I think next time we'll push on 
this away I believe into the control blocks and we'll just keep moving forward hopefully next time I'll also have figured out what we're doing with the points I kind of feel like oh you know what we were doing we were going up here towards this tree I think so let's just do that bam figured out <laughs> all right we're ready for the next episode I'll see you then guys thanks for watching and bye for now